One person is dead, three firefighters injured, and tonight Stockton police are trying to figure out who is to blame for this deadly collision involving a fire truck and an SUV. We believe that uh, they, the two vehicles hit so hard that it um, uh, sent the fire truck to its side. KCR3's Linda Moom has been following this story for us all day. She has a live update now on today's collision. Linda? Edie and Golston, we're live here at Filbert and Myrtle, where both the intersection and the off ramp from Highway 4 are now back open. Crews just cleared the roadway about an hour ago after it was closed for nearly five hours today. But police tell me that the investigation is far from over. That, that's amazing. That's hard to believe. Neighbors near this busy Stockton intersection are trying to understand what happened after an SUV hit the Stockton fire truck with such force it pushed it over onto its side. They must have been going really, really fast to even knock over a big truck like that. I just hope the firefighters are okay, and I'm sorry for that person that passed away. You know. Police say the fire truck was traveling north on Filbert Street in response to an emergency involving a child when the driver of the silver SUV collided into it while heading west to get onto Highway 4. The fire truck was on a medical call. They were en route to a school, a nearby school, where a child was suffering from uh, an allergic reaction. They were uh, headed there, code three, with lights and sirens when the vehicle collision occurred. Officers say one of the firefighters helped pull a man from the SUV, but that passenger later died at the hospital. The driver was injured, and three firefighters on board the truck were also taken to the hospital. The driver of the SUV was alert and conscious when he was transported to the hospital. Officers say it isn't clear who was at fault in the wreck. They're hoping traffic cameras in the intersection will provide additional clues. We're hoping to look to see if any uh, uh, video footage can help us determine um, the cause of the, the collision. And back out here live, we are just now learning that two of the firefighters that were injured were released from the hospital. One of them is still in the hospital at this hour and is under ob ob observation. And we'll have details. We'll speak to the firefighters and have more details coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live in Stockton, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News. And Linda, what about the call the firefighters were first responding to? Did that student get some help? Yeah, as a part of the emergency protocol that firefighters follow, we're told that one ambulance as well as a fire truck was dispatched to the school to assist that student. All right, Linda, thank you.